What's going on guys? Bowtie Brem here once again. Today we're a little official. I got myself a microphone, so the audio is uh, hopefully not too loud, but it's nice and crisp. I got a 400 foot cord, it seems like right here, so when I'm on the tripod and stuff, um, there'll be no problems hearing me. But today we are doing a review on the new, well, they're newer tires. It's a newer company. The Versatire Mud Terrains. Versatire MXT, I believe, is the uh, name for them. So uh, let's dive in and do a little review on them. Alrighty, guys. So first of all, they make a bunch of different sizes of these bad boys. Um, all your standard tire sizes for the uh, bigger rims and stuff like that. But the reason I got these is, let me show you right here. Let's see if I'm pointing right. 33 by 1350. 1350. Now, um, as some of you may know, um, I'm going to try to use my editing skills and pop up a picture of what a 1250 um, wide tire looks like on a 12 wide rim. But um, if you guys aren't familiar, tire sizes normally run um, a little thinner than they actually say. So, for example, I had a Turo Trailblades and they were 33 by 1250s. But the actual lug, the lug part was only 11 and a half wide. So, I mean, in theory, that's not a true 1250 or, you know, it's not. It, it, it looks like the stretched look. So these, like I said, are 1350s on 12 wide rims and there's no stretch or anything. The lug actually goes over where the rim would be and there's a good amount of sidewall. So the main reason I went with them is because I wanted a wider tire because I don't like the rubber band look. I know they're not as crazy as some of these guys on their 14 wide rims and it just stretches and it looks like a beach ball rolling down the road. Um, I just really dislike that look and uh, your tires can blow off and stuff like that and who the heck wants that? Not me. Okay. So, let me see here. What do you guys want to know? Probably how they ride. Now, I've had um, a Turo Trail blah, 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 blah. a Turo Trailblades. I've had Federal Courageous, and I've had the Nankang. I forget what they are. Some sort of the previous tires I had on here. I forget the name of them, but. Um, now, with being a mud tire, they're obviously going to ride a little harsher than um, your average normal car tire and what have you. But these, now, I'm getting ahead of myself here. With that being said, them riding rougher, it's also harder to balance them. These tires are the most best balanced tires I've had on here. Um, they, like, I can go 55, 60... 65 80 there's no shake whatsoever which is a big thing when you're doing a lot of uh, commuting to work and whatnot um they balanced out great actually they only needed a couple ounces on each tire so there's not a million um weight sticks stick weights on there which is awesome um the one wheel actually um my stupid uh center caps even though um they're exposed lug nuts um to uh balance the tires those need to come off to go on the machine and it was froze on so they weren't able to do it um, balance that one because they didn't want to break it and then that would be on them so um, they just left it and said if I want to get it off they'll do it for free but I don't even need to balance them again because they use so little weights it didn't even make a difference whatsoever so that's awesome um, noise wise riding down the road they are they're okay you have to understand people if you're getting a mud tire you're not going for quietness okay there's no no such thing when you have lug like this i mean maybe video doesn't pick it up but these this is like you can hide your whole finger behind there almost i mean they are beefy so i mean they are louder but they are one of the quieter tires that i've had um like i said i'll give you this is a good example of how the tire, um, like the rim doesn't protrude from the tire at all. You see that? You could see the sidewall. 
um, is completely over. So in case you aren't the best driver and you were to hit a curb, I think your chances of saving the rims um, definitely increases, which is always good, just in case accidents happen. Accidents do happen to all of us. Um, let me think of what else. Price point. Um, I got a smoke. Well, I pulled the trigger. I was going to need tires before winter, but I pulled the trigger early because I just got such a smoking deal on them. I think I got them. Well, I think they retail for about sixteen hundred dollars, but I found a deal where I got them all for a thousand. Now, thirteen fifty wide tires were very expensive. They were like, like I said, like sixteen hundred bucks when you could get thirty three twelve fifties. These are thirty threes, by the way. Um, hang on, I'm all over the place here still, but something just popped into my head. Now these are actually, they're 33s, right? Like I just said, but they're actually a little bit bigger than a 33. Um, I don't have the handy dandy tape measure out right now, but they actually are like a 34 almost, which um, I don't mind, but they are bigger than um, some normal other 33s. Um, hopefully this mic isn't picking up all this uh, wind out here in the middle of the old uh, school parking lot, you know, figure what better place to take a video. Um, I lost my train of thought here, what I was talking about. So I'm going to have to go review the footage and then come back to see what the heck I was saying. Be back in a second. Here's a little sound clip of going 45 miles per hour um, with the windows down, the tire noise. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Hope all right, you can hear. We were talking about price point. So I got these suckers for a thousand. The average Chinese Ling Long brand of 33 1250s is about a thousand. So I mean, I think I made out excellent um, on getting these. Um, I have a sneeze coming. I'll be back. <coughs> Whew, that'll clear out the sinuses. <laughs> all righty, guys. Um, but overall, the Bowtie Brem official rating on these, um, on the 1 to 10 scale, I personally would give them a 10. Um, I think they're great tires. Um, they look super aggressive. They perform well. Um, they're great in rain. I don't have any experience of them in snow yet. We got someone coming. I don't have any experience of them in snow yet. But um, I think with that aggressive lug on there, they're going to do just fine. Um yeah that's about it i would say um i would say to get them if you're looking for a 1350 wide definitely definitely go get yourself some um if you could find a good deal like i did even better if not i think they would still worth be worth the money um i'm not exactly sure the um how many miles they're supposed to last but um i could tell i've had them for about 2,000 miles and the treads barely going down which I don't think it would on any tire, but they seem like they're going to hold out pretty well. Um, hopefully it doesn't sound like I'm uh, a 400 pound dude with asthma with this, because I noticed when reviewing the footage you can hear my... <sighs> but you know, when you're talking like this, you got to get some breaths in. I mean, God, I'm not going to pass out on video. That would be ridiculous. But um, yeah, so that's my review on the Versatire MXT. Um, these ones happen to be 33, 1350s. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. I probably missed something. I always do. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a walk around of the other side real quick. Just to show you. They're beautiful. Um, I know a lot of my fans here are um, 07 to 13 Silverado owners. So my next video is going to be how to fit something as massive as this on only a three and a half inch lift as you could tell they don't that's full lock but they fit perfectly and nothing looks all janky you know bowtie brown always has a solution to the problems guys so remember to like the video leave a comment if you liked it or if you have any questions and smash that subscribe button bowtie brown and the bowtie out